Now, if you've been watching me for so long, you know that I have been sticking to my skin routine every single morning and every single evening for years now. Even though I'm not an expert, I like to trust my skincare products that I'm putting on my face because it's precious to me. I think we all can agree that we all would like to feel safe putting products on our skin because the skin on our face is the most sensitive part of our body. Now, that's why I'm going to be talking about Typology, which if you don't know already is a skincare brand made in France. I have worked with them before in a previous video, but why I personally put my trust in Typology because of their clean ingredients. I can confirm they're clean because their products are 100% made in France. And if you didn't already know, the EU bans over 1,300 ingredients in their skincare products, which is crucially unlike the smaller ban list here in the US. They have completely blacklisted any additional ingredients that could potentially be harmful for the environment or for humans. That alone gives me a sense of ease knowing that Typology is doing everything in their power and putting in the effort to keep their ingredients clean in their products. So they recommended me to take their skin diagnostic test in order to match their product for my personal skin specific needs. <laughs> Me. This test makes it easier for everyone to be given their own routine steps all individually Like you're not following somebody else's routine that has a completely different skin type than everyone else I've worked with typology in the past for a previous video and I've been using them every single day since then I already had a strict routine for my skin prior to using typology So I will put out there that noticing a huge difference is pretty doubtful But they did manage to sustain my skin results all throughout my usage of using them now I'm gonna quickly go through my typology routine step by step, which is pretty easy to explain since they have the benefits and the times to use it on the back of all of their bottles right now It's the morning and I'm about to go to the gym first off gonna do my morning skincare We're starting off with the vitamin C 11% all of them have instructions listed in the back I'm gonna read this one for example, but you can pause to read the rest of the bottles if you want to This is a face serum apply two to three drops on face in the a.m. and p.m. So this is a morning and a night one vitamin C in general is supposed to brighten up your skin tone So this is perfect for the mornings and it's super soft on the skin It gives me that natural glow in the morning Then we're going in with the hydrating serum which in the name helps hydrate my skin with the chilly weather approaching my tent my tent my skin tends to get very dry during this time with the cold weather so this is definitely a necessity and I especially need it around my nose and then next is the mattifying and anti-blemish serum you can pause to read this should also be before you do any other usual skincare so that's why it's my third step and I like to apply them on any late blemishes I had and I do have one on the side of my nose right here and then again we have another hydrating serum the hydrate and soothing one you can pause to read the back as well and again with the cold weather approaching it's very important to get as much hydration into your skincare as much as you can then I go in with an SPF moisturizer because you need SPF especially during the morning but to add a little bit more extra moisture is typology zinc PCA 4% bamboo extract facial moisturizer which as you can see I have squeezed the living life out of this I like to apply a little bit just for that extra moisture in the morning so you can never have too much you always want to hydrate your skin and coat it with as much as you can so that's it for my morning skincare routine with typology I'm going to be using typology for my nightly skincare tonight but I'm gonna show you guys what I use. First off, I cleanse my face with this BHA 5% aloe vera face exfoliating gel and I just wash my face with it. Then my next application is going to be, I never know how to pronounce the first acid so I'm not going to butcher the name, the zinc 1% which helps with acne since it targets blemishes. Then you're going to see me go in with the glow and bounce serum. Again, you can pause to read the benefits in the back. But like I said, if you take Typology's test, they're going to give you a completely different skincare routine other than mine. And then again, we're finishing off the entire nightly skincare with the PCA 2% moisturizer. Obviously, you got to coat off your entire skincare routine with a good moisturizer And then lastly, we're going to finish all of that off with the night face oil Which is supposed to be the last step of your skincare routine as it says in the back Now that you saw me do my morning skincare right now and you just saw me do my nightly skincare for tonight I'm gonna go over my three favorite products one of them Which is the night oil for that extra layer to coat my face at night Number two is the aloe face cleanser to me It smells pretty natural to real aloe vera like the plant and it never irritates my skin a lot of face washes in the past have irritated my skin so bad before. And the third one, I think you've guessed this one, as you can see from how much usage I've gotten out of it, is the PCA moisturizer. Gotta love a good daily cream to make your skin look and feel so soft. If you guys are considering giving Typology a shot, whether you're starting to learn about your skincare or want to have your own experience, you guys can click the link below to take Typology skin test to get started on your own skin routine. Thank you Typology for partnering up with me and today's sponsor and promoting simpler ways to get started on clean skincare routines. Good morning, you guys. I have to
taking a break on vlogmas for youtube for a tiny bit but we are back i celebrated my birthday a christmas dinner friendsgiving secret santa little party on monday and then tuesday we celebrated and then Tuesday, we celebrated Nita's birthday. It was a long weekend and early week. Three days straight of celebrating and partying. So today, we're officially going to get back into our routine. Gym, taking care of ourselves, getting up early. Just getting back into our normal routine. Right now, I'm up. My oral care, and now I'm going to take my ginger shot. I'm icing my face. I'm going to make some matcha and a little bit and a little bit of something to eat so that I can get dressed and get ready for the gym because I really don't like going to the gym without something in my stomach. It really just does The cats have the zoomies right now. And I need something in my system before I go to the gym. So let's get started. I mentioned this in my TikTok vlog that for Secret Santa, I had Mariah and Mariah gifted me this. I know for a fact it's from Target. She gifted me like this little festive mug and I don't know, like Mariah has only known me for a couple months but yet she knows me so well and I love her for her thoughtful gifts. pajamas if anybody's wondering are from amazon they're like the amazon essential pajamas and they are i can confirm the comfiest things i've ever worn and the slippers that i finally got they're also off of amazon it took me a while i wanted to get the christmas trees at first when it was like november 30th then i didn't like really want to i just feel like i had slippers i didn't need to buy a new pair and then i saw two gingerbread men ones like these light ones and then like darker ones and i fell in love but i ended up still not buying it but then tiktok happened and i was influenced so i ended up getting these fresh pair of like this. these type of slippers or very comfortable, dude. This is our quick little breakfast before the gym. Just some boiled eggs and sourdough bread with butter. I'm gonna state the elephant in the room. We have absolutely no more bar, bar stools. If you can see over there, this is what's left of it. We still have the chairs. They're in the spare room, but it has broken off, both of them. We are left with literally no stools. I would buy some right now, but with the holidays, obviously bar stools are super expensive right now, even with the discounts. So we're going to wing it and stand while we eat, just to let y'all know that. And I waited to take my ginger shot until I have food because taking this, I need a chaser and a chaser should be more than just water. I'm scared. Oh my God. That bad? Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but that is by far the strongest batch of ginger shots we've ever made. It's bad. Okay. <laughs> Your face.
finished my shower. I'm wearing a little cozy two-piece pajama set. Just because it's gloomy, we're having a tropical storm tomorrow and I just feel like it's time to just stay cozy, you know? This still doesn't even look like pajamas. This does kind of look like I'll wear it out, you know? Also got my little socks. I'm extra festive today. I am going to complete my full skincare for this morning. I'm gonna show you guys the TV that my dad got me for my birthday. If you guys have been watching, you know I literally been using a projector and I love the projector. There's just something about having a TV that just makes the home feel a little bit more complete. I didn't want a TV just because I wanted to do everything to prevent myself from procrastinating during the day so that I only turned on the projector at night so that we could see it clearly. But you know, there were some times where it just felt super empty and dead during the morning, so sometimes I just wanted to have on like a little fire pit on during the morning or during the afternoon have on some jazz that's not on the google duo or alexa i kind of just was looking for other reasons to have a tv in the living room and so far i've been loving it i've been putting on like smooth christmas backgrounds with fireplaces and christmas music and jazz in the morning and i don't know it just hits a lot different than having it on the google duo all the way in the kitchen i am just a little worried about like the blue light rays because i already look at a screen 24 7 every single day for work I'm gonna have to try to push myself to wear our blue light glasses every time we look at the tv so i'm gonna put on something on the tv and work a little bit i was gonna work at the office but low-key just want to work at home i might change my mind again we don't have any stools so i have nowhere to work other than the couch and i didn't feel like working on the couch today but i gotta do laundry real quick so let's get started on that can't wait to put this TV up on the wall with TV mount. It's so annoying when it's in front of like all the decor on the TV stand. chilling like this on my counter you know you're not supposed to be on the counter you know you're not my blood child i didn't give birth to you you're just my nephew yeah yeah you want to play that's all i get it Our lemon ginger kombucha. dog now. Come here, Moon. <laughs> Thank you. Ready? You ready? Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Good boy. I put on some leggings and my glasses because I've decided that I'm gonna go downstairs to work a little bit. I just kept procrastinating. It's now like 11, 12 in the afternoon or afternoon, early morning. Procrastinated a little too much. I was on my phone. I petted the cats, played the little fetch with them for a little and went on my phone all over TikTok, you know, the procrastinator 101. So I just knew that I, that was my cue to pack up my stuff and go work. And later, like I said, my dad is coming 
to put up the TV for us with my boyfriend because my boyfriend just didn't have this one tool. He would have put it up because he'd done it before, but Matt just didn't have one tool to get it up. So my dad is gonna help Matt put the TV up, thank God. I look really short when I film myself. He's gonna come, we're gonna make cocktails because it is Friday, so I wanted to make some Christmas cocktails. And since tomorrow we have a storm, I was supposed to have some girls come over. Change of plans, they can't drive all the way here during a storm, so. Oh my God, my group chat is texting me. It stresses me out for absolutely no reason. I think just with the holidays, like planning to get everything with the holidays, planning for so many different like events and occasions to be squished into one. It's a oh my gosh, it's in the air. Hello, Hello, darling. Yeah, that's okay. That was my lovely talk with Nia. But yeah, Saturday might be canceled. We were gonna have a whole bar hop and a little girl slumber party in my house, but we might have to cancel that with the storm coming. But currently hacking up my things because I really feel like when it comes to getting back into my routine, I should put myself in an environment where it feels like I'm working and it feels like I'm in a work environment than a home environment just to like separate work from home. I want to, I want home to always be more cozy than like waking up and looking at like my entire living room be an office, if you know what I mean. But like I was saying, we're going to have cocktails tonight since tomorrow technically might be canceled and I'm gonna have fun with my dad. When it comes to getting back into a routine, I really don't like doing nothing all day and then going out right after. I feel like it's okay Okay, to obviously have moments where you're doing nothing like watching a movie or watching TV or just playing games Also speaking of which my favorite thing about having a TV and a projector now is that I could play video games with my boyfriend in two different rooms Which is gonna be so fun when we're bored. I feel like I don't want to just always just watch TV I would like to do like some games sometimes like have some cool little game nights And I'm not like the biggest card or board game lover. I never liked bingo never liked monopoly I was never that type of girl. I love it with like a big group of friends but like when it comes to just me singular or one-on-one -on -one with me and Matt I would love like some digital games I don't know why I was a DS girly I was a Wii girly yeah I feel like it's okay to do nothing sometimes you know it just makes you feel a little more calm you know, and especially if like me I'm my own boss and I work from home and I do content creating I feel like I feel like being my own boss I'm always in my head saying you could be doing something when I'm doing nothing I could be doing more and I could be doing something productive and it just really gets overwhelming when I'm like constantly like we all know it's annoying when you have an actual boss and they're constantly telling you you're not doing enough while you're like in your nine to five but if you work from home and you are self-employed you are your own boss 24 7 not just from nine to five it's just a little different and it's too much to organize in your head by yourself I've been trying to get into the habit and it has been working where doing nothing sometimes but at least getting some things done is okay moments where i'm on my phone moments where i'm watching tv and eating like it's okay but i just try not to make a habit of it of doing it too much for too long sometimes if i want to do something i like put set a timer for like an hour to know when it's time for me to get back to work or for, to, for me to know how long i've been doing i don't like to blindly do something without knowing how much time has gone by and not waste time because like let's say you had a dog and you wanted to play games if you play games for five hours and your dog had to go pee like two hours ago like you're losing track of time for me i think it's okay to be productive as much as you can but not overly productive get things that you need to get done but not in a mandatory way more in a way that makes you feel good and that benefits you in the long run that's all i have to say about what it feels like to do nothing sometimes because sometimes you deserve it sometimes you deserve to do nothing but i feel like me this is just personally me i deserve to do nothing and have a cocktail night and have a movie night or a game night a break time only after I get things done so I don't it's kind of like I, I it's a reward basically that's what I should have said before it's a reward I like to reward myself with free time doing nothing time movie time phone time napping time game time all of that I, I reward myself with all of that which are things that I really love to do after I finish like chores or things that I've been holding off and been procrastinating on or after I work out I just wish I had more different hobbies without feeling like it's a job like I love baking but I feel like I can't bake without filming if you guys know know if there's a word for what I constantly do which is like constantly thinking that I have to film everything and that anything that I film has to be perfect could be perfectionism I don't know how to explain it but if there's like a if there's like a certain noise like around the house like let's say like the water faucet has like a drip sound like that every time like I hear the drip sound I have to like move my shoulder in a specifically a star I used to do this in school too I would sit in class and I was so fidgety that my foot 
had to like my feet had to go in a star movement i don't know how to explain it or like i went in a star movement like my hips and i didn't stop for hours i don't know what the hell that is but it it hasn't gone away i'm still doing it i want you guys to understand that the habit of constantly being productive don't feel like you're too behind when when it looks like on social media that everybody's ahead don't feel like you're too behind trust me everybody is no matter how successful has their anxiety that they're behind as well don't get at yourself for doing nothing just feel like do i deserve to be doing nothing right now okay let me do this two tasks that i procrastinated or left off on and then i'll do nothing you know what i mean like just really reward yourself so that you get excited to do these things Things, so that you don't look at it like a chore or you don't look at it like a task you look at it as something that will benefit you after so yeah that's my little advice for today as i go to the office with my little oh no not with my slippers i gotta put on my uggs i'm ready i just gotta get my shoes y'all we got the whole conference room to ourselves there's people in the other room and i can hear them talking so i know for a fact they could probably hear me talk mm -hmm. Your girl's back home. I made myself a quick little lunch. I have my favorite noodles from Costco. I'm gonna chill on my phone, relax. This is what I mean by reward myself after I work. I was yawning the entire time I was working. I chugged my Alani. Didn't really help that much, but I still got the work done. And I was just thinking about this moment exactly. Just sitting on this cozy ass chair, eating my nudes and having a good doing nothing moment on my phone. So let's get started on that. Eating my nudes. Eating my nudes. I'm not gonna lie guys. We've been chilling here a couple hours now watching our lovely Markiplier. It is currently like four o'clock, but it's okay. This is what I meant by doing nothing. I got work done. My dad's coming over soon, so I'll be sure to film that when these two ladies put up the TV. Um, I gotta start making dinner soon though. I literally don't know what I'm making. I don't know if I'm making shrimp tacos or tortilla soup. We're gonna find out soon, but yeah, I've just been chilling here on my phone with Markiplier on our TV. <laughs> This is why it's dangerous for us to have a TV. We'll just watch Market Player for hours. I'll get back to y'all soon when I'm up out of this couch. I set up all the condiments over here. I got the chips, I got the queso, chips, more chips, corn, some lime, jalapeno and cilantro, Greek yogurt that you can just top on top and just use the lime to squeeze on top and you make like a little healthier sour cream. Squeeze all the juice right on top. There's the homemade. I never made tortilla soup, but this looks good. Battery is flashing, camera's about a day. This is by far my favorite soup I've ever made. More than the tortellini soup and the lasagna soup. 